Hi, today I will talk about how to run your virtual machine on Windows Azure. So, um, when you're getting started with virtual machines, probably the best thing to do is to go onto Azure Management Portal. What you could do is you click on virtual machines and then you create a new virtual machine. You could create a virtual machine from an image gallery in just a few minutes. As you can see, we have lots of different images here, including Microsoft images like Windows Server, SQL Server, BizTalk Server, and SharePoint Server, and also pre-built images of Linux like CentOS, Ubuntu, and SUSE Enterprise Linux. These images have hourly rates, and you only pay for what you use. On the other hand, some of you will be familiar with virtual machines having used it since the preview. And you might be looking for ways to automate tasks like provisioning virtual machines or building workflows where you upload a large number of custom images into your storage account. REST-based service management APIs and PowerShell commands are the tools you use in that case. Um, we talked about getting started from the virtual machine's image gallery. But how does it actually work? Mm -hmm. What happens is we go and take one of the virtual hard disks from the gallery that we have and we copy this to your storage account. Now, remember you got a storage account and Windows Azure will provide the ability to store not only lots of different types of structured data, but also what we call the blob, which is essentially where your VHD file is. Once the file has been copied across, your virtual machine is built with that image. From there on, any changes you make to the image are directly written into the blob storage and persist. You have more options than using just the images in the virtual machine image gallery. You can also bring your own VHD and the way you do it is have a VHD format using Hyper-V. You can essentially upload this to your blob storage and then you can create a virtual machine by attaching essentially your machine to the disk you just upload and then you can boot that machine and carry on using it. We also have a VM depot which provided by Microsoft Open Technologies, which is a community gallery of open source Linux images. VM depot images are licensed, managed and supported by the open source community. VM depot is integrated into the Windows Azure management portal to make using these images even easier. So what you could do is you go back to the uh, management portal and click on virtual machines, uh, click on images and then you could choose the VM depot. So you could see here as um, there are absolute stack of pre-built images you could use. You get things like Dreamler, PHP stats and so on. And what that does is that actually copies the VHD from the VM depot into your storage account. As well as working with the open source, we can also take virtual machines that is running in the VMware, which would be in VMDK virtualization format and put those onto the Windows Azure as well. And there's actually two steps for that. The first step is to convert the virtual machine into a VHD. And there's a couple of ways to do this. One is, if you already have System Center, you could use System Center to convert your VMDK images into VHD format. If not, there's a free downloadable utility called the Microsoft Virtual Machine Converter, which will also take VMDK images and convert them into the VHD format. Once it's in a VHD format, you can then use PowerShell scripts to upload them into Windows Azure and create virtual machine from them. To summarize, there are two approaches to create virtual machines on Azure. Using pre-built images and building customized images your own. To choose pre-built images, you can choose a variety of paper usage images from the Azure management portal. To use your own customized images, you could upload any Hyper-V images that you already have, or convert your existing VMware images into Hyper-V formats. Okay, that's pretty much how to run your virtual machine on Windows Azure.